So basically, I've got uh, two tablets here, a uh, 7-inch Galaxy Tab and a uh, 7-inch uh, Zenithing ZT180, and I'm going to be uh, demonstrating uh, the difference between basically a uh, capacitive screen and resistive screen. So basically, these are two different technologies. So I'm going to zoom in here a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Basically, capacitive screen um, is very responsive to touch, especially your, your finger pad, so you can touch it with your finger, and it's very responsive. Go to applications, memo, you can add notes. This is a test. So that works good. Um, it doesn't very work, it doesn't work at all well at all with this um, pressure, so this is a um, a pencil and as you can see it's not working at all none of the keys are working um, nothing works here this on the other hand is a resistive screen and this one actually responds much better to pressure and you can test it here Where's my notes? so this is my notepad hit this I'm gonna Turn the options, so add a note. So this is a test. So that works. And it also, uh, you, know, you can also, um, this is a test. So you can use your finger or your finger. I'm not using my finger down here, and you know, this works pretty good actually. I mean, it's pretty responsive. I mean, it's not quite as responsive as um, as this capacitive screen, but it definitely will respond. You don't have to. I'm not pressing really hard here, and I'm getting it to go up and down. Um, the difference here, I guess, is um, I noticed that that. Uh, the, the capacitive screen doesn't respond at all to pressure, whereas this one will, which is interesting to me, and it also responds to the finger touch, although it's not quite as responsive. So basically that's the difference. Um, I guess we've come a long ways in terms of uh, resistive screens because I don't have any problems with this at all. I'd be willing to, to live with I could live with this. I mean, hopefully uh, that you can uh, learn a little bit from uh, this comparison that I did.